Hey guys, so school customers, bad here. Been a while since I've done a video. Hope you guys are doing your day. All right, today we're gonna go to do a little cleaning on the Phoenix, which is my Chevy Two Nova. See that white smudge up there? Well, me dummy decided to throw some wax over it. Make, see if I can make it look shiny or something. Shit didn't work. Part of my French. So I got this purple stuff i guess it's a purple cleaner i don't know what the hell they uh they i use it to clean um uh motor parts and everything if you let it soak for a while it actually cleans it pretty damn good so uh, you can get it at walmart um so i'm gonna go to i already did a little bit on this part so i added some on there and it so it's coming off so we're gonna go ahead and do the whole roof because that's the only thing i did Look, yeah, I didn't do the whole damn car because if not, it would have been a lot of work. Yeah, so I got to get this car ready too. But I mean, you've seen it already in some of my videos. Did a few burnouts and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it cleaned up or, you know, a little bit because um, I got to go get it. Everything works on this car, but, you know, I make it look, look a little bit decent. Also, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now on the passenger side, my window doesn't roll down. So the gears on it are messed up. I got duct tape on it. And uh, I believe I got a piece of wire. You can see the wire right there holding up the window. But um, hey, that's hot riding, man. You do whatever you can just to get it. Get it to work just for the meantime but i i finally got the the crank window thing you can see right there the oer i got it through um uh, i believe it was um classic Indust industries i think and um i got a pretty good it's for uh it's nothing but chevy two novas anything has to do with chevy two novas they got from 62 all the way to i believe 77 you know but uh i got that trigger i think i got it for maybe like 89 bucks 100 bucks so i'll be putting that on so i can get my window rolling again and uh, those are little things i gotta do for this car but other than that this car's ready to roll and um so we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up in the engine bay um since i live out here and i ain't got no concrete yet and stuff like that you gotta worry about the rat droppings and all that stuff so we gotta make sure i clean up in here a little bit better so hopefully the rats will probably stay away it's on um, peppermint spread all over the engine bay as well as the, the rats they don't like that but enough of that let's get this cleaned up and um make it a little bit more decent because looks like crap usually what i've been doing i just been spraying it on there and then just try to wipe it down it's been coming off so so it must work a lot so i'm hoping uh, most of it came off um the, part, the car needs to probably get clean it was soap and water and everything but i think i took most of it off um don't be like me 
Don't ever decide to do something crazy and put wax sealer over primer because that stuff ain't gonna work. That was like the most dumbest thing I ever did in my life. It's so dumb. Oh, it's so dumb. It's brilliant. No! It's just dumb. Yeah, I can admit to that. I mean, hopefully most of it came off and if it if it didn't, well, so I'll just go back at it and keep doing it and do it and do it until it, it actually all comes off. Um, the car's pretty stained too, so we'll probably have to do the whole car with the greaser, clean it up. But I think it's coming off. I think most of it came off. It looked like a stained white from that primer, I mean, that wax, I mean. It was already annoying me. I was getting, they put in different terms. It was, I was annoyed by it. Yeah, I was annoyed by, annoyed by it. Did I say it right? I'm not too sure. Shit. Basically, I just didn't like the way it looked anymore. It looked like crap. Yeah, there's still a little bit of white stains on there, but I think a little bit more of that that stuff, that degreaser. It's almost like degreaser, basically. Uh, I think it'll come right off. I'll get that red primer look like I, like I did before when I primered it. Just to let you guys know, this primer here wasn't done by a gun. I did it with that that new spray uh, cans they have. Was it jet spray? Whatever well, those big tall cans I think that they make now. They have primer red. They have glossy black, uh, glossy white. I'm not too sure if they have primer. It might, I guess. I don't know, but. I got the, the was it six, can, six cans of paint through Home Depot. I think at that time I paid maybe like 60 bucks. It was 56 something, but like maybe $60 a change. Yeah. And those aerosol cans, I mean, those whatever spray cans, put it that way, um, they were good. <laughs> I finished it like in what less than two hours i paint the whole car less than that yeah maybe about an, maybe an hour or two yeah maybe about less than an hour no nah, just about an hour i painted the whole car real quick i wish i had a youtube channel then i would have recorded it you would have seen me using that that paint it's pretty good I gotta lie, man. It's, it's almost like a like a spray gun. So most of it came off that white stain. So you can tell the difference. You know, what it looked like before. Before you can you can see all that that white. Extra, whatever that wax or whatever the hell. See, looks better. Looks like the actual primer red. See, it worked. Um, now I want to go ahead and do a little bit of engine cleaning. So let's get over here. Get over here. Yeah. Get the inside cleaned up a little bit. I still got some of that the greaser on there, so that'll clean this up pretty good.
Yeah, I miss driving this car, man. I, I got I, I told my dad, I'm going to start driving it. I don't have this car parked there anymore. I want to drive it. That's what looks pretty cool, man. So, um, like I said, we got some more, um, more work to do on this car, too. So, not too much. The car is actually just ready to take out to the street. That's all we need to do, just take it to the street. Looking for grooves, man. But, um, Yeah, you can tell. See how it looks now. It looks way better now. Cool. Yep. I didn't think it was gonna work with that stuff. Let me go get that gallon watch. It's called Purple Power. This stuff works good, man. This stuff works good for cleaning motors and stuff like that. If you want to soak some pistons and all that, I did some pistons on my 402 big block. I let them soak for like about a day or two, man. They came out like super clean. Like even parts too, heads or whatever you want to do, this stuff works good. So I didn't think it was going to clean that those stains, but it worked. Hell yeah. So you can use that stuff on a lot of stuff you need to clean your car, man. Just don't use them on aluminum. Like you'll stain your rims, man. Anything that has to do with aluminum, don't use it. You could probably use it on some chrome stuff, but not aluminum. Aluminum, you'll stain on it. You'll mess them up. You'll mess up your rims, man. I did that one time, and I spent all day polishing, trying to polish my rims. I messed them up. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. So either way, guys, it was just a little small video getting the Nova cleaned up. Uh, gonna get that window uh, fixed and get this car out in the street, man. It's already due for inspection. So I just wanna get this car on the road, man. Take it to work, cruise it. Hell yeah. I'm tired of just seeing this car park. I wanna drive it. Right now I have my Malibu. I've been taking my Malibu to work, but I want to ride this one. This one got balls. But either way, guys, uh, like I said, this is just a small little video. All by and bore you guys. But just trying to give you some small content from old school custom rides. I appreciate all the new followers and um we got more videos to come, man. Um, so getting parts for my roaster and I got some stuff coming in and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get the 55 run, get the battery. That's all we need is the battery on the 55. Oh yeah, and the transmission. We'll get that car ready. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night and, um, we'll see what the next video looks like. Yeah, we'll see. See what we can come up with. All right, take it easy. Take care. See you later.